So is the Apple AirPods Max the best headphone for your podcasting, for monitoring your audio when you're using an external mic that's connected to an audio interface? I'll give you my feedback because I've been using the AirPods Max ever since it was released and I tried many ways to connect this to my audio interface so that I could use this to monitor my audio and there were some challenges that I faced that I would like to talk about and also how it was using this as a monitoring headphone as well when connected to the audio interface using a wired cable rather than Bluetooth. Because I haven't tried with Bluetooth, I wouldn't recommend that for audio monitoring purposes as well because there would be some latency and whatnot. So I did use this by connecting a lightning cable to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack connected to the audio interface and my experience with it. So I'll share that. So when I first was googling or researching about ways to connect this to an audio interface. I didn't find helpful answers on Google. I checked YouTube and I couldn't find any helpful answers. So I was like, what can I do? So I went to the Apple store and I talked with a staff at the Apple store and the guy told me that you could buy a lightning to 3.5 millimeter audio cable and that should do the job. I know I can come back if it doesn't work, but they were very unsure. When I got the cable, I connected it to my audio interface and I can show you the cable. It's right here in front of me. So it's this lightning cable with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So this is the cable and it's 1.2 meters long. That's it. And this does the job connecting to the audio interface. Well, at least it did to me. So obviously the lightning connects here without any, without any dongle. And this end connects to your audio interface. And then you should be good in terms of monitoring audio. You obviously might have to adjust the volume on your audio interface and tweaking it a bit. You, you also might need to up the volume from the digital crown here. That's what I had to do and it worked. And it was good for monitoring audio, obviously, but it still needs to have charge. That's the downside. And that was my experience because I have my Sony XM3s, right? This obviously is a Bluetooth headphone. And once the battery is done, it won't work. But when you're connecting it via the cable to the audio interface, even if you don't have any battery, even if you don't have any juice inside of these headphones, it will still work as long as it's connected using a cable. In the case of the AirPods, even if you're connected via the cable, if the AirPods Max do not have any charge, you're done. You have to charge it up in order to connect it to your audio interface using the cable. Because if this doesn't have charge, it's pretty much useless even when using a wired connection. And that was my experience. So in that sense, I wouldn't recommend, you know, like using AirPods Max to monitor your audio for podcasts or for some audio voiceovers or whatever the case may be. When it has charge, then yeah. But if your podcast is going to go for, I don't know, like maybe two, three hours, four hours long, because some of the podcasts do go for that long, this might die on you. And even if you're connected via the audio cable, this might be of no use is what I would say, because I was on a Zoom call and I had this AirPods Max connected to my audio interface using the cable and it died on me and I could hear the battery dead chime and it just didn't work. I couldn't hear myself on the microphone. I couldn't hear anyone on the other side as well. So that is the biggest downside of these when I compare to any other headphones out there like Sony XM3s or Sony XM4s because these are Bluetooth headphones similar to the AirPods Max. But even if the battery is out on these, as long as it's wired and connected to your audio interface, it's gonna work. I can't say the same for the AirPods Max. So for those reasons, if you are into podcasts and if you wanted to use your AirPods Max because you had them, I would recommend don't do that because you're going to have disappointments and you wouldn't want to lose audio when you're live doing podcasts with someone and because the battery is down, you can't hear them and have issues, you know. So just for those reasons, I wouldn't recommend this. Go with Audio-Technica headphones or, or any other wired headphones or if you really wanted Bluetooth headphones that you already have, or if you don't have it as well, and you prefer Bluetooth headphones that you can use apart from podcasts as well, then I would recommend go with Sony XM3s or a Sony XM4s because that would be much more beneficial for you because you can connect it with the cable during your podcast and you can monitor your audio 
And when you're done with the podcast, you're going out and about, you can use that to listen to music connected via Bluetooth on your phone, whatsoever. You're going to have the best experience. But that's my recommendation. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.